All right, folks, Tommy Coward here on the lawn with Growing Green. And today we're looking at a disease of Leland Cypress. We're here in North Carolina in the spring. It's May 12th. And uh, what we're looking at here is ceridium canker. This is a deadly disease, probably the most devastating disease of Leland Cypress. And one way you can tell the difference between ceridium canker and botrysphaeria canker, which are the two main diseases that cause a lot of dieback to the Leland Cypress. As you can see, it's spreading. Probably started with this tree. It commonly affects trees that are under some stress, either from drought or in this case, I think cold. But it's spreading fast. This was not here. You didn't see this um, back a couple of months ago. And uh, one of the things you can look at with the uh, ceridium canker is you will certainly see a lot of sap uh, excavating from the plant. And this one does have sap dripping everywhere. Uh, I'd like to show you what the canker itself looks like. We were just looking, and this is spreading. This is spreading from tree to tree. Um, some of the ways that folks do try to attempt to uh, remedy this problem is through pruning. One way you could tell that this is ceridium canker over Botrysphaeria is that the needles just fall right off with the ceridium canker. But you can see down in here some of the sap flow. That was a vine that was up in there. There's a canker forming here. It's an elongated um, canker that you'll find. I'm looking for one of these big ones that's on some of these branches. There's one I found a little while ago. It was about a foot long. But they do girdle the tree and eventually kill that branch. So we're looking here. A lot of the sap will indicate to you that you have got the Botrysphaeria, or in this case, Ceridium, which is the more deadly of the two cankers. And the cankers are also, they're tiny on this in certain places. Um, the way they form, lots of sap, um, and it girdles the tree. There's one there forming on that branch. And there's more of them. Anywhere you see the sap oozing out, you're gonna have cankers. And they are just wiping out these trees. Here's another canker here, that elongated, crusty part that you see right there on the stem. Another one here. And this is a deadly disease of the Leyland Cypress, and as you can see, it's spread from up there, and it's just slowly moving down and taking out these Leyland Cypress. So the only way, there's really no remedy for this, no chemical control. Sometimes you can do some pruning on them, and uh, what you'll want to do when you do your pruning is to use alcohol or soap to clean off your tools when you're cutting. These guys probably got under a lot of stress and that straw colored most of the time another there's a canker there. Uh, most of the time you can uh, look at these trees and uh, tell you know right there if those lead needles come right off it's the ceridium the deadly one and look at that how it's taken that whole tree out. Now, I'm not discounting some stress from girdling but that girdle that's not what did this damage um, this strap it uh, is more of the fact now it looks like somebody did some cutting to take some cankers in for you know an investigation probably sent that off to NC State but even up into some of these trees we're seeing it as well and the sap uh, we had an extremely cold winter and it's killing them. So really, they'll probably have to remove these trees. And uh, I would plant back. If I'd go with another screen plant, there's a lot of good ones, probably a Emerald Green Arbor Vitae, planted a little further apart. Or you could use you know, some of the uh, uh, Cryptomeria Cypress is not as affected by it. I like those better if you wanted to go with Cypress. 
if you wanted the height. You know, there's other um, other plant screens. Viburnum, Shindo Viburnums make a great screen. Um, but anyway, gosh, it's a shame we're losing these trees. But uh, that's a plagued disease of the Leyland Cypress. Well, Tommy Coward on the lawn. Hope y'all are having a great day. Signing out. Have a good one.